I'm happy I'm Nisa Nur Absari and my judo number is 2150008. On this occasion, I will present the result of my drama analysis entitled City Saroja. The analysis of this drama is to fulfill the score of the midterm examination for the 6th semester literary appreciation course. Oja tadi diwawancarai. Semuanya beres, akan ada pertemuan lagi. Waktunya kapan, nanti akan dikasih tahu. Ini ada apa, Oja? Oja akan main film, Mas. Aduh Oja, Oja. Artis film adalah cita-cita yang sangat bagus. Oja memang cantik, tapi tempatnya bukan di film. I will analyze a drama entitled City Seroja. City Seroja is a drama performed by Theatre Coma in Indonesia. This drama was written by Andrian Tiano and directed by Rita Matumona, who was premiered via Theatre Coma's YouTube channel on 8 December 2021. Broadly speaking, this drama tells the story of a woman named City Seroja who is familiarly called as Oja, who has a dream of becoming a movie actress. This dream arises because Oja fantasizes too often in front of the mirror after reading her romantic novels. Her husband, Park Kimin, is seen several times reminding Oja not to fantasize too much. Eventually, Oja began to realize the real world and abandon her hallucination of becoming a famous actress. Theater Coma is a theater art group that was established on 1st March 1977 in Jakarta. As an old theater group, Theater Coma has a good reputation in the Indonesian theater scene. There are already 111 repertoire or drama that have been played both on television screens and on conventional stages. They often perform their creative work at the Jakarta Art Center, Taman Ismail Marzuki, TVRI, Jakarta Arts Building, and also other cities outside Jakarta. Theater Coma is a non-profit arts association. Currently, the group is supported by 30 active members and 50 members who can join at their convenience. The central feature of the body of Theater Coma is Andrian Tiano. Aside from being a leader, he more often acts as director and screenwriter. Nano scripts are often played by other theater groups and become presenters or resources present for theater festival in the regions. Nano Riantiarno or N. Riantiarno is an Indonesian actor, writer, director, journalist, and theater personality who founded Theater Coma in 1977. He is the scriptwriter of the City Seroja drama. Nano has been active in theater since 1965 in his, in his hometown in Cirebon. After graduating from high school in 1967, he continued his studies at the Indonesian National Art Theater Academy or AFNI in Jakarta. Then, in 1971, entered the Triakarya College of Philosophy in Jakarta. He joined Hatuku Karya, one of Indonesian leading playwrights, and co-founded Theatre Popular in 1968. On 1st March 1977, he founded Theatre Coma, one of the most prolific theatre group in Indonesia today. As of 2006, the group has staged around 111 stage and television productions. The title of the drama is City Seroja, premiered on 8 December 2021 through Theater Coma YouTube channel. The duration of this performance is 39 minutes 36 seconds and has been viewed more than 20,000 times on YouTube. The script was written by Andrian Tiarno and directed by Rita Matumona. And there are the actors and actresses. City Seroja was played by Sekar Dewantari, Parki Min was played by Zulfi Ramdoni, and Pacio was played by Sundea Siska. And then here in the drama synopsis, when ambition blends reality and imagination, is it still possible to distinguish between reality and dream? Cities Roja, a drama by Andrian Tiarno directed by Rita Matumona, portrays the movie world and it grows in 70s. 
Sarucha's dream is to become a movie star in the 70s. Pachio, her acquaintance, encouraged her until her dream turns into ambition. Will they be able to change the mind of Park Min, Sarucha's husband? How far will their ambition take them? According to Danielson and Nielsen in 2009, literary appreciation echoed the sentiment and add that it is the process by which one catches one interpretative, interpretative response as a reader to a literary work. In essence, the meaning of literary appreciation is, in the other words, reading, understanding, and making a critical judgment on the theme, style, use of figurative and non-figurative language, and other elements of a literary work. As a result, when an attempt is made to discuss and judge a work of literature with the intent of giving feedback or an opinion about the work, such an attempt is called literary appreciation. To give more clarity, Danielson and Nielsen in 2009 devised there are seven stages of literary appreciation. The seven stages of literary appreciation are Level 1, Pleasure and Profit. Literary appreciation is a social experience. Level 2, Recording. Literacy is developed. Level 3, Lose yourself. Reading becomes a means of escaping. Level 4, Find yourself. This is discovering identity. Level 5, Venture beyond self. Going beyond me, assessing the world around them. Level 6, Parity in reading. Reads widely and discusses experiences with peers. And the last one is level 7, aesthetic purposes, a bit readers appreciates the artistic value of in reading. Based on the explanation previous about the seven stages of literary appreciation, I will analyze City Saroja drama based on the points of the stages above as follows. Level 1, pleasure and profit. City Saroja's drama entertains the audience with a simple and easy to understand drama. This drama gives pleasure to the audience by describing the lives that often occur in our daily lives. So the audience is not difficult to capture the meaning of this drama, and the story is not heavy so that the audience feels easy to understand the storyline. In some segments, such as when Oja fantasizes about being a movie actress, it seems that Oja is very confident in front of the mirror by singing and dancing, and it entertains the audience with her funny behavior. In addition, City Saroja's drama also benefits the audience by providing moral values in the story. This drama provides the moral value that as humans, we must, we must, we must feel grateful. This can be seen when the character Parkimin dialogues with Ocha several times and reminds Ocha not to fantasize too much. Actually, in real life, this kind of thing is also often found where we often dream too high. It's okay to have dreams, but we should also consider the reality of the situation. Parkimin's character in this drama also often reminds Ocha to accept the situation and be grateful. Similarly, the cast can also experience the literary levels of pleasure and profit. Acting can be one of the patients expressed to, through the performance work. And by acting, actors can feel pleasure and benefit because their talents and patience can be channeled. Therefore, this drama has given pleasure and benefit to its audiences. Level 2, Decoding Literature is one of the means of developed talent. Through drama performance such as City Sarosia, people can also develop their interest and talent in acting. In this drama, of course, it requires a lot of crew and team to support the smooth running of City Sarosia's drama. In addition, being an actor or actress is also not an easy thing. Long training and flying hours also affect one's appearance in staging drama. Various dramas such as City Sarocha's drama and other dramas can hone our skills, therefore literature in this case is drama, especially City Sarocha's drama can function as decoding. Level 3, Lose Yourself Literature can be means uh, of escape and so can drama. In this case, it means that watching drama becomes a means of escape for the audience. 
the audience who watch drama, especially in the drama city Sorocha, will definitely be immersed in the plot of the drama. And besides that, of course, watching drama can lead to stress and entertain yourself. In addition, City Sorocha's drama also raises the theme of everyday life stories. Of course, the audience will also easily adapt in their minds and immerse themselves in the plot, in the plot of City Sorocha's drama. Therefore, City Sorocha's drama can also be a means of escape if you lose yourself stage. Level 4. Find yourself. City Sorocha's drama can function as one of the stages namely find yourself. In this context, it means that someone finds their identity through drama. Through City Sorocha's drama, one can find his or her identity. For example, maybe someone wants to be a character like Ocha who has high self-confidence. Or maybe someone wants to be a character like Parkimin, who always thinks rationally and considers the situation. Or maybe someone wants to be a character like Pachio, who always supports others to realize their dreams. This drama presents a variety of characters with different disposition. If in this find yourself stage, then City Sorocha's drama can be one of the media to find the identity of the audience. Level 5. Venture Beyond Self The literary level as a venture beyond self is how audiences can venture beyond themselves. In the drama City Sorocha, the audience is invited to fill and live the role played by the actors which is not necessarily the character of the role in accordance with their personality. So, in this way, drama can be a medium for audiences to explore and explore characters that are sometimes not in accordance with their own characters. For example, the audience feels the character of Ocha even though their character is not necessarily the same as Ocha. But the level of literature can act like that. The same goes for Sekar Dewantari who plays Oja. Not necessarily, Sekar Dewantari has the character of Oja in her, in her real life. Therefore, this is one of the manifestations of the literary level, Venture Beyond Self. Level 6, Variety in Reading Drama performance can be a medium for discussion with peers. There are many things that can be discussed from a drama performance whether in terms of the character of the cast, stage setting, plot, and so on. At this level, the audience is invited to, more, to, think, to think more critically about the drama performance they watch. It. As in Drama City Sroja, the audience can discuss the way the cast dialogues or about the stage the properties that are so complete or also can be about the plot of the story. And the last one is level 7 is aesthetic purposes. Drama performance in literary appreciation level is aesthetic purposes where a, where a drama is created and as an aesthetic purpose. In this context, the audience is invited to see a play in terms of its aesthetics. It can be seen from the stage layout, costume, or the setting of the story. In addition, drama can function as an aesthetic purpose by looking at the plot of the drama, so that the audience can judge whether the story has aesthetic value or not. After analyzing the drama City Sorocha based on the seven stages of literary appreciation according to Danielson and Nielsen in 2009, I will analyze this drama using my point of view. There are several points that we'll analyze, there are the plot, the play of the actors and actresses, the stage, the costumes, and the moral values conveyed in the story. The first one is the plot of City Sroche's drama. In terms of plot, City Sroche's drama uses a closed plot, where at the end of this drama, the ending has been determined. During the drama, the drama uses a forward flow, where the actors act out the play in order from beginning to end and do not go back in time. The problem of the story is known from the beginning that Ocha fantasizes too much and her husband Parkimen repeatedly disapproves of her. And at the end of the story, it is also determined that in the end Ocha ends her fantasies and returns to her real life. 
There is a bit of a plot twist in the play, where during a segment where Ocha and Pachio are drunk, then Park Min comes to pick Ocha up. Then Ocha felt a stomach ache, and it was discovered that Ocha was pregnant. Ocha and Park Min were both unaware of this. And then Ocha sobered up and realized her real life. In my opinion, this drama has a good plot, when the audience can enjoy this drama without having to guess the end of the story. And the audience is also comfortable with this drama because it does not use a mixed plot. And then the second is about the actors and actresses. Performance of City Sarocha's drama. The performance of the actors and actresses of the City Sarocha drama is very good. The cast in this drama really animated their respective roles. One, the cheerful and very confident character of Ocha, Skarde Wantari, who plays Ocha, can play her rebel. The rational thinking character of Park Min, played by Zulfi Ramdani, was also great. And the character of Pachio, who has the character to support his friend, was also well, well played by Sundia Siska. If we look closely, Pachio's character should have been a man. But in this drama, it was played by an actress. This did not reduce an any value in the play, as Sundia Siska, who played Pachio, was able to portray Pachio's character well. The actors in City Sroja's drama can portray their respective characters as well. Although sometimes the characters they play do not match the real characters in their real lives. And in the third, about the stage layout. As this was a drama performance, the stage, the stage setting was dark black. But with the support of lights, the stage comes alive. The setting of the drama is a house in the countryside and the living room is also clearly depicted in the play. The properties used are also very good. As in the segment where Park Min wants to go to work, there is a bicycle property provided. This drama is set in the 70s, and the state setting used is quite present in the 70s with an ancient television, a 1975 calendar, and so on. For this reason, in my opinion, the state setting and properties of City Sroja's drama are very good and truly represent the year of 70s. And the fourth is about the costumes. The costumes used in City Sroja's drama are the clothes used during the 70s. Oja wore the clothes of a typical village woman. Park Min wore the clothes of an office worker of his time. And Pachio wore the clothes of a famous man in 70s. The custom used by the case of City Sarocha depict the vision situation in the 70s. This aims to further strengthen the setting of this drama which takes place in the 1970s. There is nothing wrong in the choice of custom in City Sarocha's drama, and in my opinion, in terms of custom, it is good enough to, present, to represent a vision life in the 70s. And then the last one is the moral value of City Sarocha's drama. City Sroja's drama contains many for moral value in it. The first moral value is when we have high dreams, we should also see and realize our real life situation. There is nothing wrong in dreaming high, but if we dream too high and it seems impossible to achieve, we better introspect on ourselves. As in the segment where Ocha tells her husband that she wants to be a movie actress, even though Ocha herself in her daily life is just a village woman who stays at home alone and never going to the city. So Park Min, as Ocha's husband, reminds Ocha not to dream too high and should look at the situation in real life. Then the second moral value is there is the value of feminism in this drama. That the woman is destined not only to serve her husband and take care of the household, so a woman is not allowed to have a big dreams. This is found in the segment when Ocha buys a lot of reading books. Then Park Min, her husband, says that a woman's destiny is to take care of the household. In fact, buying books is not the wrong thing to do. This was revealed by Ocha that she bought books to increase her knowledge. The third moral value is that we should not be too quick and too quick to trust others, even those we have known for a long time. 
This is reflected in the segment where Baccio promises Ocha that he will make her movie actress through his acquaintance in a movie production house. Baccio even said that he was very close to the famous director, uh, namely is Wanum Bramantio. In this segment, Ocha seems to really trust Baccio as her partner for helping her to realize her dream as an actress. Even though her husband, Park Min, had warned her not to immediately believe in other people's offers. And sure enough, one, on one occasion, Oja was invited to get drunk with Pacio with the excuse that actor and actresses are used to getting drunk to deepen their roles. So the conclusion is that there are three moral values in this drama. The drama, the first is that when we have dreams, we should also look at our real life conditions. Don't let the big dreams destroy us. Second, a woman can gain a lot of knowledge through reading. And a woman's destiny is not only to serve her, her husband and take care of the household. Much more than that, there are still many women's rights there that are of the day. And the last moral value is don't be too quick to trust other people, even if we know them well. Because it could be that this person can harm us. I have analyzed a drama called Chitty Serocia. The drama was staged by Teatro Coma, the script was written by Andrea Antiarno and directed by Rita Matumona. In this drama, there are three characters, Chitty Serocia, as known as Ocha, played by Skati Wandari, Parki Min, played by Zulfi Ramdani, and Pachio, played by Suntia Siska. This drama duration is 39 minutes 36 seconds. It premiered on 8 December 2021 through Teatro Coma's YouTube channel and has been viewed more than 20,000 times. This drama tells the story of the character Ocha, who has a dream of becoming an actress, but her real life does not support her. In the end, Ocha still chose to be an ordinary village woman and did not want to dream of becoming an actress more, uh, anymore. There are three moral values in this drama. The first is that when we have dreams, we should also look at our daily life conditions. Don't let the big dream destroy us. Second, a woman can gain a lot of knowledge through reading. And a woman's destiny is not only to serve her husband and take care of the household. Much more than that, there are still many women's rights that, that are obtained. And the last moral value is don't be too quick to trust other people, even if you know them well. Because it could be that this person can harm us. So, there are the results of the analysis that I can present about a literary work, namely Drama in the Adventist Stroja by Andrea Tiarno, which is the subject of my analysis on this occasion. Of course, there are still many shortcomings and weaknesses in my analysis paper. I hope that the readers can give me a suggestion and constructive criticism for the perfection of this analytical paper and the writing of such substance subsequent analytical papers. It is hoped that the result of my analysis on this occasion can become a reference and reference in the world of literature and education, especially English language and literature teaching. We hope that this paper can be a source of knowledge and insight for readers. This my presentation regarding the result of the analysis of City Sergio drama. Thank you for attention. See you.